Okay, I'm gonna quickly show you how to check your address in Infinite Campus to see if you have to update it, okay? So first, you are going to go to the Infinite Campus Parent Portal site, and if you are a campus student, so your student, you're gonna click that to log in or parent. In the app, after you set it up the first time, you're gonna be able to skip this step and go right to the next one. All right, you're gonna see a menu along the left, okay? Um, and it goes, starts with today and ends with more. And you are going to want to click on more. So you need to click um, down here on more, okay? Once you do that, you are going to see a screen that looks like this, okay? You are going to click on address information, okay? When you click on address information, you are going to see this. It's gonna have your family last name, it's gonna have your home phone number, and this phone number is the number that's listed as the primary phone number that gets contacted if anything happens to you at school or someone needs to be contacted. And then it also will list your primary mailing address. After you check this, you're going to click on back to go back to the previous screen. So here we are back at the previous screen. The next thing you should check is where it says demographics. So you're gonna click on demographics. When you do, you're gonna see something that looks like this, okay? And it gives a lot of information about the student, and then it lists non-household relationships. And you say, what does that mean? Well, those are the people that are listed who are able to pick the child up from school if that is required, okay? So non-parent relationships who are able to pick the child up from school, okay? And um, again, at the top here, you will see the back button. You are going to click back. You see here, there is an option to um, request an update. The easiest way to update uh, any information though is to fill out your child's back to school form that's given um, by the school. All right, after you click back, you're gonna be put back on this screen again. And the next thing you should check is family information. Okay. In family information, it's going to list anyone who is listed in the household, okay? Um, and their contact information if appropriate. Here are email addresses, so those should be accurate. A lot of school communications are by email. And also right here is listed the student email address. So that is where the student will get their email address that they need to log in to um, office, Microsoft's everything um, moving forward, okay? That began last year, okay? So here is where the student can locate their email address, okay? So again, that was in the family information, okay? Once you go back, the last thing I wanna show you, you can click on all of these things, there's nothing wrong with them, but the last thing I wanna show you is backpack. It really doesn't have anything to do with your address, but it does have some vital information. So what can you find in backpack? Well, you will have the names of all the students listed in the family. So if it's just the student who's logging in, you're not gonna see multiple student names. But if you're the parent and you have multiple students in the school, you're gonna see multiple names. If you click the plus sign by a specific student's name, it's going to open um, another window and then you're gonna see the word documents. And then you're gonna click the plus sign by documents to open it. And then you're gonna have, now you see um, this child was in school in 2015. So it's gonna go back about that far when uh, these reports were digitized. Okay, so you can see any progress reports or report cards back uh, through the 2014 to 2015 um, culminating report card of the year, okay? So you can see for those two, it's only the final report card be and beginning uh, for 2016. Um, you can see for 2019 to 20, all of a sudden there's a lot more information provided, okay? And hopefully, 
that helps how you can check your address in Infinite Campus. If any of that information is incorrect, it should be updated with the school so that communications about any kind of school closure, any kind of changes uh, can actually get to the proper place. I hope it helps.